This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Hello and welcome to today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Casey Davis. And I'm Gloria Ogletree. Let us be the first to welcome Dr. M. Dwayne Nellis to Texas Tech University. Dr. Nellis will be our 16th University President. He's visiting campus today to meet with members of the community both on campus and off. He'll be at the Fraser Alumni Pavilion today from 5 to 6. Dr. Nellis comes to Tech from the University of Idaho where he has been president since 2009. He's considered an expert in higher education and he joins Texas Tech June 15th. Well, water is always an issue in Texas and it's always on the agenda here in West Texas. Lubbock City Council members recently voted on a strategic plan for our water supply. Reporter Jose Rodriguez has the story. On February 28th, Lubbock City Council voted unanimously in favor of adopting the city's 2013 strategic water supply plan, which outlines 16 strategies in the areas of surface water, groundwater, and reclaimed water. Carl Anderson, the interim executive director at the Texas Tech National Ranching Heritage Center, does not believe the plan will impact ranchers as much as farmers. As a rancher in Dickens County, Anderson said there are alternatives to irrigation when it comes to ranching. Surface water, as in dams, uh, ponds, stock tanks, uh, don't work there. Uh, they won't hold water. And so uh, all of the water for uh, livestock is uh, through wells um, and uh, either with windmills or with underground electric pumps. And we pump into uh, uh, metal uh, surface stock tanks, and that's where the, the livestock waters. Anderson said Lubbock County farmers rely heavily on local resources for their water supply. So in Lubbock County, except where there are some rivers and ravines, it's all farm use. Anderson believes water is the key to the stability of life in the region, something many may not understand. I do know this, that uh, as we go along in the not too distant future, water is the issue that's going to determine whether we survive in this part of the land or whether we don't survive in this part of the land. The answer to the problem is a given, he said, but needs to be carried out and not just talked about. Uh, strict management, whether it comes now, whether it comes 20 years from now, is going to be the, the answer. For Income TV, this is Jose Rodriguez. Spring officially started last Wednesday, so you might be wondering why it was about 20 degrees this morning. Well, it was because a cold front blew in over the weekend, and listen to this. Saturday was beautiful until around dinner time. Then this blew in, high winds blew up a lot of dust. We went from sunny to dusty in a hurry. Here's how the sky changed Saturday evening. But it's much nicer now. Here's a look at our MCTV live tower cam. It's still chilly though, about 40 degrees, and we'll be near freezing again tonight. It will be sunny all week and back to 80 by Friday. There were some storm clouds hanging over the Lady Raiders Saturday night. Yeah, they got into the NCAA tournament, but sports reporter Brad Cisak is in the Sports Center with more. Brad? The Lady Raider basketball team lost a heartbreaking game to South Florida 71 70 on Saturday, ending the careers of the five seniors. And the Texas Tech football team began their spring practices on Friday. The players will be using this time to learn and execute the new system under head coach Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury, embarking on his first season as a head coach, is excited for it all to start. Yeah, it was fun to get out here. It was fun to see the enthusiasm, and they flew around pretty good. Got a long way to go, but uh, we seemed excited, and I thought the effort was, was decent. Yeah, it's definitely different, you know, for everybody. Um, being in an old system, you know, for me, two years being in the past system, and then kind of trying to have to erase that, erase all the old habits from that one. From all the uh, from all the coaching we had last year, and uh, turn it over to this new this new staff is uh, you know it's difficult. It's day one. Uh, I thought we showed some really good signs out there. You know, obviously there's a lot of room to improve. Um, it's gonna be a day to day process, learning everything and you know getting comfortable with it. But I thought it was a solid first day. It was senior day yesterday for the Lady Raiders tennis team as they took on Iowa State. The three seniors, Elizabeth Ulithorn, Caroline Stark, and Sandra Dinka, looked to cap off one last match at home with a win. The three seniors all receiving their jerseys at the beginning of the match. Picking this one up in the first match, Iowa State's Megan Cassins with the serve, and on the return, Ula Thorne gets the double bounce to go. She took her match in straight sets. And on to the second match, Stark with the serve, and it's returned by Iowa State's Jenna Langhorst. Back to Stark, who hits it with a sick backhand. Back to Langhorst, who puts it up into the air. Stark returning it with a soft touch, and Langhorst puts too much on the return, 
sending it out of play. Stark also takes her match in straight sets. Third match, Sandra Dinka with the serve, and on the turn, Emma Waits shoots it into the net. Dinka took her match 6-3, 6-4, and Tech takes the overall match 7-0. Afterwards, Coach Petty reflected on his senior class. Uh, it's a, it, I don't know if I'll have a more special of a group just because they were my first, and they've been through the ups and downs with me, and, and really they're the... They're the culture of this program, and they're the ones that have really done the 180 switch. So uh, I couldn't be prouder of this group, and, and they're just such good young ladies and, and uh, represent us so well, and, and uh, it's going to be sad to see them go for sure. Tech Baseball hosts TCU this weekend for a three-game homestand. The first game is Friday at 6.30 at Rip Griffin Park. That's it for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brad. That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.